All right, guys, welcome back. This is our next episode. Picked up right after the end of the first one. Obviously, She's I made first. the best draft noise. <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah, the draft noises. You the guys world voted. Has spoken. <laughs> we voted. And she's uh, going first, so where do you want to sit? <laughs> Damien's <laughs> over there with Vera. Oberlin. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I might as well or you can shop. chat with him. <laughs> there we go. You find Damien and Vera hunched over a scale model of Spooky National Bank, made of milk cartons, lunch trays, and ketchup packets. All right, we'll go in through the side entrance, disable the alarms with an EMP, and blow the safe. <laughs> Why don't we just blow up the side entrance, blow up the alarms, and blow up the safe? Because we only have so much C4, Damien. That sounds like a personal problem. What's this thing? Damien points at a kosher dill pickle in front of the vault labeled Police Ogre. That's the Police Ogre. He's got eyes all the way around his head, never sleeps, doesn't take bribes, and is invincible in combat. Can we blow him up? No, we can't blow him up. We need to find a way around him. Well, I'm out of ideas. Yo, Zeph, we'll cut you on the heist if you can solve this ogre problem for us. Luckily, you're a heist mastermind. As, as sure. I'm known for it. Before Vera or Damien can react, you rob the bank yourself and split the money with Vera or eat the pickle. Eat the pickle. <laughs> Quick as a flash, you snatch the pickle off the table and bite it in half. Yes, success! Suck it, ogre! Take that! <laughs> That doesn't actually solve the... Look, Vera, now the path to the vault is clear. We can blow it open and walk out with the cash. But the ogre is still there. The map doesn't lie, Vera. I see no ogre. Fine. Why don't you two just rob the bank, then? I'll focus on my illegal dog drug trade. You're happy to share a romantic heist with Damien. Together, you eat the actual ogre just like you ate the pickle. And everyone knows police ogres are the ultimate aphrodisiac. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> yep. That seems appropriate. That, that's very appropriate. That. Um, sure. You approach Scott and Polly's table to find them crouched behind a pile of jelly desserts. Plot. Bro. Thank bros if you're here, bro. Come on, join our huddle. Maybe you're curious about our huge pile of jelly jam gelatinous desert, dessert cups. Well, wonder no more. We're going for the jelly prize. I'm, uh, I'm wondering about these gelatinous cups, am I right? Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna win it. If we collect the full cover of 100 deli desserts, we'll be the luckiest yeah. winners of- One free jelly dessert! Ah! <laughs> but right now we're stuck. We've only got 99. That means we need, we need- One more, Scott. We need one more. We need one more. You'd give them your jelly dessert, but you already threw it at a bird person you hate. Guess you've got to make a choice. Am I Miranda now? Yes. <laughs> Steal the final jelly dessert from the jelly dessert factory, or make like a puppy dog and beg. All things are sweeter when achieved through pity. Hmm. Seems like he would beg. He's a dog. Yeah. Right. Let's go with. Steel I, from I feel the like the first factory. few days now, are pretty easy. I can't take your advice on no, anything. No, that, that's why I'm not giving you advice. Yeah, watch the episodes on her channel yep. for more. <laughs> you'll on you'll that. learn. But uh, I'll go with this one. <laughs> but is this stealing wrong? <laughs> no, Scott. That's a myth. Like hangovers and the afterlife. Well, that's a lot to unpack. Uh, um, but if the afterlife isn't real. Why are you ghosts? Because fuck you. There's no time for metaphysics, Scott. We've got a heist to plan. That's about her answer. Yeah. No! Coach says stealing is wrong. Unless you're stealing a ball, or a base, or victory from the jaws of defeat. Oh, it seems like sports is mostly about stealing. Well, that settles it. Time for stealing. Probably time. One fake bus, one real woolly mammoth, and a brutal running gun battle later, you finally secure one illicit jelly cup. I'm supposed Which, to be reading these. <laughs> you're right, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> Which you turn in, along with your 99 other jelly cups, for one free jelly cup. It's it's loose here. The rules are loose here. Yeah. Listen. Scott is too upset by all the violence, oh. so you split your free jelly cup with Polly. Worth it. He's a sad boy. <laughs> Everybody chooses a celebrity. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before uh, picking. Tara Strong. Uh, Jables Wables. Okay. Player order is decided based on how likely it is that the selected celebrity is secretly related to Jables. Oh. Wait, I secretly wonder. though. This is a tough one. I. 
I would love to be related to Tara Strong. Right. <laughs> and have her doing voices on my right? videos. Um, Cause then you could have her join in. Yeah, I guess it's secret. Right, but. I am me, I mean it's pretty pretty widely accepted yeah. that I'm related to myself. What do, you, what do you think? What, do you I don't know, that, random, seems, that seems... Yeah, let's random it. Let's random it, that was a tough one. Cause it's oh, like... Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> I'm secretly related to myself. The truth come out. <laughs> the truth come out. Does Bruno Mars? It's a separate conversation. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> um, sure. Um, sure. Alright. Fun... Yeah, you need, you need to max out your phone. I need to max out my phone, but I'm already at 10. You don't I need to be more. smart, I and I, I don't need, think... Well... I think I need boldness. You might need boldness. A little bit of boldness. But you definitely need fun. I do need fun, yeah. Um, right now, I'm going to go with a little bit of boldness, and I'll stomp on the I'll stomp on the fun meter a little later. Okay. So let's go to the bathroom. That day, you skip class <laughs> and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. But you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity. So you do some graffiti on the wall. Oh, no. No way. <laughs> Jekyll Hart hide. Mm -hmm. That's fun. The graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. <laughs> and you know what? It turns out the wall is, as, is a magical wall that grants wishes. <laughs> what a oh. wall. A deep voice resounds from within the walls and says, well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And then you gained two boldness. All right. Does that say that says butts? Yeah. That's nobody's nobody's no guessed it. No one's figured it out yet. Actually, the person actually got fully <laughs> hung. Yeah, it happened. Oh boy, that's an opinionated <laughs> wall. Anyway, lucky you. All right. Cool. I did it. You notice Polly staring at her phone with an uncharacteristic intensity. She <laughs> usually looks much happier sorting through dick pics. She might be my soulmate. Better investigate. I said that about someone else in a different playthrough, but this is a different one. Yep, Th this is this is the true one. <laughs> oh, hey, bro, I'm true. just checking out information on possible afterlives. Huh. Like, I'm not going to spend my time as a high school student for all eternity. Who does that? She's giving me the eyes. Look at that. Right? Give me the eyes. I've collected oh. some pamphlets from various afterlives, and I'm looking into <laughs> the pros and cons of each option. Oh. It's just such a big decision, you know? I mean, this could affect the rest of my afterlife. Do you know anyone who went to any of these afterlives? Which afterlife are you into? <laughs> a soft and enveloping cloud in the sky made of hundreds of adorable, fluffy, tiny, precious, perfect kittens. Or nothingness. Or nothingness. I mean, that seems I'm fun. I'm leaving this up to you. Yeah, that seems fun, but this is pretty bold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean... It's up to you. Yeah. You, you, we all know my advice isn't yeah. the best. Uh, I want to go with the soft, tiny cloud and the fluffy, perfect kittens. Yes! Oh, oh my, my god! god. Yes. Yes. yes! Yes! The most yes! The maximum yes possible! The yeses! <laughs> it's amazing because you know what the biggest complaint about kittens is? That their perfect, adorable balls of fluffy cuteness armed with tiny knives on their paws, which they have no problem jabbing into people with absolutely no notice. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know who can't feel the pain of tiny kitten claws? Ghost. <laughs> Ghost bitches! I can literally roll around on a cloud of kittens and feel nothing except their tiny, fluffy, softness, no fair claws. I'm definitely going to work on my essay for Cloud Kitten World. Maybe something along the lines of why I deserve to snuggle cats because of that one time I pity fucked a wear panther. <laughs> Maybe I can get you to write my letter of recommendation, Jables. I'll do it. Fingers and furry paws crossed that I get in and I hope to see you there one day. I will see you there every day. <laughs> did, did Polly just say, say that she hopes you die? I'm already there, man. Well, if it's to reunite with her, I guess that's probably fine. Aren't you just dying to take her to Monster Prom? Oh, I'm already dead. Shut up. Well, you, you, you gain that terrible joke to use again later than recounting the story, as well as to creativity and one charm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. That was, a, that was effective. Right? Um, you took my boldness. <laughs> Stole it. Um, what else does he like? Mm. I don't know, really. I'm just gonna buy stuff. Oh, dude, do it. 
money causes pocket cancer. Hey, last night I read an article on how money causes pocket <laughs> cancer in the long run. You don't want to get pocket cancer. Quick, give me that dangerous money you have in your still healthy pockets. Dude, she's smart. That's an offense. I'm too poor. <laughs> too poor for the dragon fanfic What book. is this? Oh. A blanket with two, uh oh. <laughs> A ghost costume. Yeah. Uh oh. oh. We, well have, done, we have lost it. visual. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Nothing. All right, we're back. Okay, I don't know. That was weird. Why that happened? I don't know what you, you anyway, guys saw. Anyway, anyway. Uh, ooh, a corpse. A corpse. I'm gonna like, sing with a sheet. You know. Some kind of honestly, I'm gonna buy. Oh wait, a lemon. These are just events. So. I, go for. Grab something. I've got the I, other thing. I'm. I'm gonna buy the corpse. You're gonna buy a corpse. I am a I, corpse. So. I need funds. Right. Who wants to save money? Yeah, you bought a corpse. Yeah, who would want to save money for the college fund when you could spend it on weird stuff that's most likely <laughs> useless? That's the period, champ. All right. You know, just a zombie with a corpse. Something happened to it's one of my friends. Me. Er. Yeah, you're the zombie. I'm the Frankenstein. We're both. We're, we're both dead. back from the dead. Yeah. You're practically you're practicing your moves against the invisible ninjas who are totally real and totally after you. That's when you problem. spy a much more visible threat. Yo, fuck hammer! I need your advice about something. What a great way to treat someone. Do you know what the most powerful force on earth is? Stronger than anvils or swords or my nine pack abs? It's love. Oh no. And I think I just might be in it. With your buddy Zeph. <gasps> And sure, love is already hardcore just because the feelings are so strong, and that's badass. But the love will double as strong, be badass, if it turns out that Seth is as hardcore as I think well, she is. Well, I mean, I just bought a corpse. <laughs> and of course, there's really only one way to judge a person's true soul. You know it pretty well. Do you know where her inner murder weapon would be? Um, duh, of course you do. By which you mean, you're happy to totally make it up on the spot. <laughs> now... So now's the time to decide Zeph's fate. Fun, right? Don't be a dick. Unless you want to, in which case, totally go for it. But also don't. <laughs> Major cardiovascular diseases. Zeph is the ultimate murderer. The leading cause of death worldwide and something capable of catching up to tough motherfuckers who have survived everything else. Or an electric chair. That's how boring Zeph is. She would just be standard government regulated death. No. Yeah, no, I'll help you out. But you gotta help me out later if it comes oh, up. Oh, I definitely will. Right. Major cardiovascular diseases. Damn. I wouldn't have even thought of that. If major cardiovascular diseases were a knife, it would be the sharpest and deadliest knife ever. Probably pretty big, too. Let me guess, you're a knife. <laughs> if there were a sword, there would be two katanas. If there were a gun, there would be an atomic bomb. <laughs> wow, cardiovascular disease was raging in Zeph this entire time, and I never even knew it. Yep. Well, that's confusingly worded, to say the least. But luckily, since you were the one who started this metaphor, you know that Zeph isn't likely to die. Unless she is dying to go to prom with Damien, in which case, bam! Welcome, Zeph. You already used this joke. You gained three boldness yourself. Narrator. All right. We'll trade places and Let's then we'll see. start What's the new the... episode. Everybody chooses an occupation. Okay, I chose clowns Let's last play time. Let's oh, wait, no, yeah. We did this already. Okay, yeah. I have to change it. Um, <laughs> um, uh, giraffe um, Wrangler. Ba -ba -ba, da -da 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 -da. Walmart employee. Walmart employee. <laughs> Mario and Luigi were plumbers. Player order is decided based on how funny an off-brand version of these two heroes, called Hans and Rudolph, would be. Aside from saving the kingdom, are also either Walmart employees or giraffe wranglers. Hans and hmm. Rudolph, the Walmart employees. Hans and Rudolph, the giraffe wranglers. What do you think about how hmm. how funny? I don't Ooh. know, because then I think giraffes is pretty funny. Hmm. No, you're right. It's it's. Yeah. So they're saving the world, but also they have to show up to Walmart right. all the time. Okay. And when this starts... Let's go. Let's go. We'll go next time uh, with the next part of Monster Prom, but right now we're going to finish this one off right here. On on Jables Wables channel with, <laughs> with me, yep. Sephoria Plays. All right. We'll <laughs> see you guys in part three. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.